Today's episode is a TK8 special edition. I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful black and white image using zone masks found in the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. You don't want to miss this one. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Normally I do my TK8 videos on Friday on my TK Friday show, but today it's a TK8 special edition. I'm excited to show you how I can turn this image into this beautiful, dramatic, black and white architectural image. And is this a hard thing to do? I think it's rather easy to do, but let me show you how I did it. I'd like to give a special shout out to Tony Kuiper for teaching me how to do this. And I'm going to give back by teaching you how to do it. Now, Tony did tell me this will not work in all types of images, but you have to experiment. It will, it'll work in certain ones, but when it does work, it's really pretty amazing what kind of results you'll get. Now, I find it works really well on certain types of uh, architectural images like this particular image. It's got a lot of really cool lines in here and some shadow areas and this light sky back here, which we're going to turn inky black, which is very dramatic. So let me show you how this is done. I'm going to turn the black and white conversion layer back on. Actually, it's a group and open it up. And I'll just show you here. I'm basically going to use three different layers here. And then I'm going to show you some deviation that you can do. Do you only have to use zone masks? No, you can even use regular luminosity masks too. I'm going to show you how you can combine a regular luminosity mask at the end. That's a little special little tip that I want to show you. So make sure you watch this to the end and please leave comments and questions and like and share. I really appreciate that. That really helps my channel to grow. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and click that bell notification. Then you'll be reminded every time I upload a new tutorial. And don't forget, TK Friday is only a couple days away. I'm going to go ahead and collapse this group and shut it off so we can start from scratch. By the way, this is a stock image and you'll be able to download it. I'll leave a link in the description below this video where you could grab this image and follow along with me. It's a great way of learning. Step number one, go up to the TK. 8 plugin for Photoshop and click on the zone mask icon and just click OK. You don't have to pick anything here. And look, we're done. No, I'm just kidding. OK, so that doesn't look good, right? But here's what we're going to do. We're going to find a zone. Which zone do we want? I really don't know. Try them. This is zone one. Here's zone two. Let's click through them. When I click on this side, you can see I can get that really black sky. The other parts of the image are inverted though, right? which is cool. We're going we're gonna to take advantage of that. Don't worry. But let's click through. What I want to do is find the uh, zone for the building first, the one that I want to use. And that's uh, zone three. Let's try zone four. Let's try zone five. Let's try zone six. We're getting close. Let's try zone seven. Oh, yeah, that's doing it for me. See the blacks in here and everything. That's zone seven. And then you have this slider here. So in my experimentation, I went to about zone seven and a half, something like that. And then what I did was I lightened up the lights a little bit here. Okay. Because I'm looking at this area in here and some of the sheen coming off this building here. And I'm thinking somewhere right around there. Now, you can also play with this slider where you can narrow your zone, you know, when we're working with uh, actually adjusting images. Okay. But think today, we're doing something a little different today. We're kind of repurposing the TK8 plugin here. We're uh, using it to make a black and white conversion. But you can drag this in and tighten things up if you want. And you can see these tones are getting a little darker in here as I keep coming in. Or maybe not. No, Yeah, a little bit. They are right there. So let's bring that in just a little bit. Not too much. I think right right about there looks good. And basically that's it. Now that's the building. Now forget about what the sky is doing here. Okay. That's the building. Now this is important right here. Tony built this into his panel. You see right here, if I hold my option or all key down, you can see this is output mask to pixels. This button creates a new pixel layer on the layers panel and applies the on-screen mask to the layer. The final result is that a monochrome pixel layer of the mask is created. So let's go ahead and click that. And when we do, we have a mask to pixels layer and it's labeled mask to pixels. That's step one. Now look at your image 
And you may say, you know what? I love this image. I love the high contrast I'm getting. I like the light sky. I'm going to stop right here. And you actually could. But I want my sky to go inky black. You've all seen those architectural images where you have that black sky. It looks really cool. So that's what I want to show you how we can create so simply with this method of black and white conversion. Now here's step two to get that black sky. And this is very important. Shut this layer off, the one we just made. We want to go back to the original color image. And next, what we'll do is we'll come back up to zone mask. So click that again and just click OK. And again, we're back, we're back to that same scenario, but we're not going to stay here. Now, all we need to do is hunt for that perfect zone mask. So start clicking on the different zones and you'll get that aha moment where you say, aha, that looks awesome. In my case, I want an awesome black sky. So I know I'm going to be down around zone one. So I'm going to click on zone one and say, you know what? Zone one is it. And then you could take this slider and you can jump between zones if you want. And I might just move it slightly to the right a little bit. So I'm right around zone one and I think that's going to work. Now all I need to do is output it to a pixel layer by clicking right here and voila, I've done it. So now I have this layer. Let me shut it off and I have this layer. I have to combine these two together. So how am I going to do that? Let's go ahead and turn these two layers back on. Now the sky area that I want to be black is on top. So what I need to do is reveal what's underneath it. Okay. So I'm going to use a mask to do that. Now you can simply come here, add a layer mask and on the uh, CX or combo panel, we can do that right here by clicking this icon and that adds a mask. Now I can hide this building by painting black on this white reveal all layer mask. And that's easy to do. All I need to do is get a black brush. I'm using a soft edge, a pretty big brush and start painting on this layer mask. Now it may be a little tricky when I get to the edge, I made over over paint a little bit, but a lot of times you can simply just paint in with a soft brush, you know, make your brush smaller, come on the edges here or whatever you want to do. Okay. But I ended up, there was a lot of straight lines and things like that. And I thought I better use some Photoshop selection tools to help me out. I'll go ahead and get rid of this mask. Let's go back to the uh, TK8C extra combo panel and click here. That'll delete that mask. Now let's shut these two layers off because I feel I'll get a better selection if I shut those layers off. Now this top layer has my black sky. So what I want to do is select a sky. So let's see if we can select it. Let's come to the TK8 CX or combo panel and click on this icon. Now, uh, right now I'm on this top layer and in order for it to make a selection, I have to be on a layer that's turned on. So I'm going to go to the background layer and then click this icon and see if it can select my sky and it gets this part but it doesn't get this part so that's not working out so well so let me go ahead and undo that selection we could try this a different way and i think what i'll do is use my quick selection tool i'm in the add mode here so i'm just going to drag across here paint across here and it does a pretty good job of selecting everything now it messes up down here so if i hold the older option key down i can subtract this area out and this quick selection tool does a pretty good job we could use object selection too as well, but I've experimented and I just had a little better result and a quicker result with a quick selection tool. So try the different selection tools. And then down here, we can go ahead and add this in here. And again, we could subtract out areas that it missed. And then we could click S and M and go into select and mask and refine this if we want to. I've already done that earlier just to save time because I didn't want this video getting too long. If you'd like me to make a video on select and mask, let me know in the comments section below. But let's say this is refined and now we want to save it out as a channel. The best way to do it is just to come here on the TK8 CX or combo panel, click this icon and you could name this like sky and click OK. Now, as I said, I've already done that. I'm going to go ahead and deselect the selection by clicking right here. But you can see right here, I've already made that sky selection. So I'm going to use that here in a sec, but I'm going to go back and click on RGB again. Now, what we need to do is turn these two layers on and make sure your top layer is selected. Now come up to my channels, click this icon, click on sky because we want to keep the sky and all we have to do is uh, click this icon right here this will output that channel to a mask on the top layer so click right here and just like that 
There's our black sky. Isn't that cool? Now, at this point, we can say we're done, but let me go ahead and shut these two layers off because look at this area right in here. There's some windows here that we're not seeing. So let me shut these two layers off and you can see right here, okay? So I want to see if I can bring those windows out. I have to leave these two layers off because I want to base my zone mask on the actual background layer. So let's come up and click on zone mask, click OK again, and we just have to find a zone that'll work. I'm gonna start with five. Okay, five is starting to reveal that. Here's five, let's look at six. I like six, it stays dark, but I can still see these windows, and I'm gonna use that six. And now let's just output this to a pixel layer. Now let's hide this layer by putting a black layer mask on this new layer that we made, and it's easy to do. Just click this icon in the CX or combo panel, and just like that, that layer is hid. And now we're seeing the uh, background image, but we wanna see the black and white image, so let's turn these layers back on. And now all we need to do is paint white on this mask to reveal this area. So I'm gonna get a white brush. I'm gonna click this icon, it gives me a white brush. I'm gonna get a decent sized brush with a real nice soft edge at 100% opacity. And watch, I'm just gonna paint that in. Isn't that cool? Just like that and on this side as well. Just paint that all in and Voila, there it is. So here's the before that and here's the after. And so basically that's my black and white conversion. But I told you I had a little deviation that I wanted to show you using something other than a zone mask. And I'm gonna show that to you next. Let me go ahead and shut these black and white conversion layers off because I wanna base my selection on the background layer. So let's come up here. I'm gonna try luminosity mask. So let's click here. And I'm thinking maybe a luminosity mask one, uh, it's a little too light. I just want to darken this area a little bit like a luminosity mask too. I think that's good. Let's output that to a pixel layer and let's throw a black mask on it because it's covering everything else up. And you'll notice even if I turn these layers back on, which I need to, you don't see anything, okay? So let's put a black hide all layer mask on that. And there's my black and white conversion back. And now let's just get a white brush. I'm going to click on the white brush here and a nice soft... 100% opacity brush, and I'm just gonna reveal that in just like so. See, and then I can just paint it in here. And again, you wanna take your time and make sure you're getting this just the way you want it. And then if you've overpainted, you can uh, use the opposite color paint. Just use the shortcut X, type X, and that will give you black paint and then I can touch up my mistakes. So now I've made that darker. So it's a little different look, but I actually like this look better. But the answer is yes, you can also use like a luminosity mask to help you out as well. Let's see how far we've come. We started out with this image and we end up with this dramatic image and I really love this technique. Well, there it is. Give this a try and let me know what you think of this method and if you've tried it out, what kind of results you got. I'd really love to hear from you. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends and if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Gully. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.